<laughs> Coughing the weed out of my lungs here. Start over. Hey YouTube, so today I wanted to do a video about learning. I guess it's a secret to success actually. It's uh, learning how to respect other people's time. It was the initial topic. I actually started to write my topics now or whatever. But due to a lot of events that have happened today and the last couple of days, just like in general, I thought I'd do this video to save myself the trouble of explaining this over and over and over redundantly to people about how important this is to me. Um, one of my secrets, if you can even call it a secret to success, is actually learning how to respect other people's time. Time is something that all of us have. All of all of you people out there in internet land that are listening to me right now, if you're alive and hear my voice in whatever language you speak, then that means you have time on your side. Your 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 life hours are ticking away if you hear my voice. So I'm not gonna burn up too much of your time. So if you don't want to hear what I gotta say, maybe hit the back button now and check another video out. But I think I'd like to explain this in great detail and length so that people uh, understand where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they, I mean, I swear one of their first questions they ask me is, how do I do what you do? Hey, Shimmy, you do this. You travel. You do this. You girls, mostly girl shit. Girls, movies, travel, here, there, everywhere. You run a business. You do this. You sell this. You sell that. You know this person. You know that person. Realistically, it's a, it's it's work, you know what I'm saying. But a, a lot of a lot of this boils down to I understand how valuable people's times is, and I don't waste their time. When I do have the chance to interact with people, and whether it's business pleasure or whatever, I don't waste their time. I'm not a person that like draws out things and extends things longer than necessary. I get straight to the point and like, hey, we're going to go do this, this, and this in this time frame, or we're going to go here, there, there, and do X, Y, and Z, A, B, C, etc. Okay, a lot of people, they're... <laughs> I want to say that a lot of people in the world, they're very slow to make decisions. I'm the opposite. I make decisions very fast. Once I have enough adequate information and I've verified it and shit looks cool or whatever, I piece the plan together and I make it happen. I go for it and I go do it and I don't dig around basically. So that means that obviously I respect my own time, but especially if I travel with other people or do projects, etc., with other people, I'm not going to burn their time up. I'm not going to become like uh, totally uh, like, a, like a drain on their time. Okay, I bring this up because I've only got 24 hours in a day just like you guys. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I got shit that I choose to do voluntarily, meaning I got I to gotta go running in the morning. I got to exercise. I got to do my cardio shit. I got to do my internet shit. I got family, friends, kids, this, that, and maintaining my own social relationships and all that kind of shit, and let alone try to run a business, a website, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. It burns up a lot of time, but I like to think I manage my time efficiently. Even though you guys don't realize it's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now and it's been a really busy day, like most days, and I like it that way. I, I think I, I'm very good at juggling <laughs> titties. I think I'm very good at juggling my time and uh, whatever effectively. You know what I'm saying? So this basically means to me that I'm not going to burn up a considerable portion of my day or any of my day for that matter usually on a fucking telephone watching tv just idling just whatever i i try my best to utilize my time to either work out grow stronger smarter wiser richer etc and i don't get me wrong i like to have my fun i like to lay my black ass on the massage table and take airplanes and do all kind of fly shit like that but it's crucial that you know, the basics are covered. Anyway, so let me get to my point here. Um, again, I made notes here. I'm starting to get more serious and shit with my YouTube. So, I was going to title this shit, Learning How to Respect People's Times Will Get You Far in Life. I think that's what the topic I just reiterated was. And uh, I said, you could respect my time 
I wrote this in respect my time by respecting my hours of operation by that I mean you guys know that I run a little corner store here and shit like that that means during normal business hours I can't accept your phone calls unless you're coming here right now or you have some immediate business pertaining please pretty fucking please wait till after the stores close or whatever I'll be more than happy to talk to you and you'll have my undivided attention it's like if you call me and expect for me to drop everything I'm doing just because you fucking call me or knock on the door or something. It doesn't always work like that. You know, some people, they think that I revolve around them and not necessarily. There's other shit that has a tear of whatever. You know, if I see that somebody's in the middle of something, I never, never ask them or interrupt them or whatever. They're working on a fucking car, you know, this, that, their job. People have things that are, I hope, that are far more important than me. Okay, if you just need someone to nurse, nurse you, listen to you and hear about your goddamn problems or whatever, then that means that you need to pay a therapist like $225 an hour or a counselor or get a girlfriend, boyfriend, dog, cat, rat, whatever to talk to and whatever or whatever. Because some people, and here's the thing, I think some people just like to be heard. They like to be listened to. And those people should make a fucking YouTube channel. Jeez, fuck. I mean, if you're one of these people, and I'm kind of one of these people myself, I like to be heard. I like to share my ideas. I like to fucking put them out there and get feedback from weird motherfuckers in all kinds of places. You know what I'm saying? It, it's entertaining to me, and I, I value that, and I appreciate you guys' comments or whatever. And I get back to everybody at my leisure and convenience when it's good for me. Because I want to do this shit voluntarily, okay? YouTube ain't sending me a check. I got to make my own bread or I wouldn't be in the back of a fucking store shooting movies, doing this, doing that, selling shit or whatever, etc. I don't have the wealth or whatever to do this currently or whatever. And even if I did, I still think I'd like to fucking, uh, you know, I like to express myself and just be me. I, I kind of like this camera shit and whatever, but... In order for me to even do this show, that means I gotta like turn the phone off, do this, lock the doors. All right, no interruptions. I'm trying to do YouTube here to my YouTube world, and you YouTube people or whatever video world, whatever I upload this shit to. But for now, it's just safe for the sake of YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. Um, you guys are just as important to me as my website people, members. Well, you know, the paying ones actually take higher priority. But, I mean, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I devote my time and whatever to you guys as I have it or whatever. Just like I devote time to maintaining all my other social relationships, etc. that make me who I am. My hobbies, my this, my that, my exercise, my... You know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm on all sorts of forums and all sorts of fucking things this that and the other and I'm always just into into just doing shit you know what I mean weird all right so what else was I writing about this shit here man uh basically th what inspired me to for, for those of you that don't know what inspired me to do this show I, I actually overran the stink full of water outside today I haven't done this in a while but I got sidetracked and you know you know I'd say like don't walk away from boiling water etc if you're cooking something along those lines because you will get busy someone will knock at the door a phone will ring something will happen the computer some shit will happen on the screen that needs my immediate attention and a lot of times if you're not tending to boiling water or running sink shit like that shit happens and the floor just flooded because my brain is overloaded and i'm trying to do too much shit at once this is the end result of overloading your circuit breakers and trying to listen to and help everybody all at the same fucking time i'm not a call center i'm not a 1-800-1900 person that has like multiple arms and ears and can multitask like that i'm a bad motherfucker but i can't subdivide myself like an octopus understand that people okay that's why if you need to reach me it's gonna have to wait till after 11 p.m. most of the time unless you got immediate business here right now and even if you do I need to fucking know you come in a lot of times I just like fuck <sighs> you know I, I, I prioritize shit or whatever I mean and I Honestly, yeah, some people do have higher priority than others or whatever in my world. I would hope that a lot of you should, you know, prioritize things like that and whatever. But I can't save the fucking world. 
I can't listen to everybody all the fucking time. I'd like to. My heart is big enough to, but I just don't always have the fucking energy. There's not enough protein shakes and vitamins in my fucking world to keep all this shimmy machine going. Okay? Jesus, fuck. Man. I need time to be me. I need time to work out and run, which is important to me. By the way, <laughs> And this video is this video is just my mass bulk mail response, my spam. Oops, got the mic here. My my um, I hope you guys could hear me. I didn't have the mic to my yeah, whatever. This video, by the way, in this channel is basically my way to talk back to the world to everybody in the comment section, everybody on fucking Instagram, Twitter, X video, this that members comments. When I have time, and if I don't have time to fucking individually pound back, that's when it's time for me to do a fucking video. So thank you for listening to me. Thanks for listening to me basically complain. But really, you know what I'm saying? I feel fortunate enough that I actually do have, uh, you know, family, friends, people that care about me, this and that. But I always say to myself, if you really do care about me, fucking give me a little bit of time to do the shit that I want to do. Jesus, I care about what you people are doing. I do, but it's like I want to actually do shit and not just passively observe shit. I'm the kind of person, listen, understand this. I'm the kind of person I would much rather, with all these people on the wall, I'd rather see them in person 100% of the time versus talk to them through a goddamn device or whatever, some plastic screen or something. I'm not there. I... <laughs> It's not the same. Yeah, I could hear you. Yeah, I could see your pixels of your, your image or whatever, but it's like, God damn, it's like it's not the same. So the best thing that you could do is actually make plans with me to see me in person, live in the fucking flesh or whatever, and then we can talk and I'll be a much better listener and can whatever you know don't let your life pass you by man don't don't go like ye a year or two and shit without seeing people because that's when shit gets iffy and sticky you know what i'm saying i try not try i do make time to see everybody that i fucking care about right if you do know me personally if your pictures etc are on the fucking walls here chances are i come to see you at least a couple times a year once a year twice a year something like that three times a year whatever but i'm making active proactive plans for the you know to be continued and shit on the next episode etc etc okay but i need to see everything needs to lead up to the next meeting basically we need to be planning to do some fly shit we need to be going places doing things having fun rather than just be on the phone venting back and forth to each other oh you know a lot of hoes are, oh oh my life is this this is what happened and this is what happened today and so and so i'm like yeah i understand that so what are we doing next what's the next step what's the plan b what are we doing about this now okay i understand your life is imperfect you wish that things were this way you wish things were that way but what the fuck are you gonna do about it right now okay you want to go sit your ass on the beach with me let's go do it how much is it gonna cost what day can we do it can we do it six months seven months eight months from now whatever set a date on the calendar circle it and let's do it okay it's it's in the shoot as they say okay that's the kind of person that i am so understanding that that's how you gotta fuck with me basically you know, I'm not like everybody else. Maybe there are some people in the world that are content with just sitting on a fucking chair watching TV and, you know, listening to gripes and doing it like that. But I'm like, I'm a doer and I'm not much of a, you know, I, I just like to be alive. Fuck that. So anyway, by the way, if you haven't already, don't... I don't even know if these like shit even matters, but subscribe to this channel if you have not already, please. I'm just trying to get up to the number 1,000 subscribers. I don't want a million. I don't want fucking 10,000 or 80 million like my idol Chloe Ting has, the exercise girl. But just give me 1,000 so that I have the ability to go live on this YouTube live shit. And then that way in real time, you motherfuckers can peck back and forth and I can interact with you. That's really all that I want. You know, this isn't some shit that I'm trying to turn into something. This is my social creative outlet channel. And the more people that I can reach, I can reach more people live than I can in this current format, basically. You know, it's closer. It's, I guess it's the next best thing to being in the person with me or whatever. Okay? So, yeah.
All right, so what, here's an idea that I had in Googling like how to do this shit. I'm going to start having, and this will be the first one starting with this show, a contest raffle, which sounds like kind of a scam because I don't really buy lottery tickets and shit like that. Um, like first prize, second prize, third prize, shit like that for subscribing to the channel. I just got to randomly pick one of you motherfuckers out of a hat or something like that, I guess. But it sounds shifty. I'm like, whatever. That's my channel. I make the rules. So, all right. So here we go. The grand prize. If you subscribe to my channel, <laughs> this sounds like bribery, basically. The grand prize, you can get one week in Thailand, in Pattaya, Pattaya, Thailand, however you want to say it, in my condo rental or whatever, which is on Airbnb or whatever. This, uh, the nearest picture of it, right? A lot of pictures of it. God damn it. Which one's closest? This one here. All right. These are all duct taped to the wall. All right. So, this beautiful condo here in Pattaya, Thailand, up on the sixth floor. There's details in my profile or Instagram or Airbnb. The grand prize is one week here. Okay, that's a big fucking pool. It's a nice place. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little one bedroom uh, condo. But hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And you have a very good chance of winning this shit already if there's only like 350 or something subscribers. The grand prize is one week there in the condo hotel there. My place that I own, you can have a party, do whatever the fuck you want to. If you wait till the right time of year, I might even be there myself, okay? The grand prize is one week valued at whatever the current rental price is in Thai Bot. I don't know, but it's my crib, whatever, so whatever. That's the grand prize, okay? You gotta cover your own airfare and all that shit, but I got your lodging or housing covered. That's the grand prize, one week there. Okay, the second place prize is... <laughs> I was real niggerish for this. I was like, you get 10 minutes of my time. <laughs> God damn it, I dropped the tablet. Anyway, um, yeah, 10 minutes of my time. That means that you could fucking call me, Skype me, Facebook Live me, or whatever method you communicate with or whatever. Morse codes, mode signals, etc. I'll be happy to give you some of my time, even if I don't know you or whatever. And I talk to, like, mostly anybody, even shady government-ass motherfuckers or whatever in the past. So I'm pretty open-minded. Y'all can't harm me no fucking way or whatever, so whatever. I'll give you 10 minutes of my time. That's the second prize, okay? Third prize, I'll give you a website membership subscription to one of my sites. How about that? Watch some of my fucking movies. Girls on the Wall. You guys ask about this shit all the time. Some of you are too goddamn cheap to spend $2.95 for a fucking, you know, 30-day trial and shit like that. And it perplexes me, actually. You know, you're going to watch. It's actually, I find it very disrespectful, actually, personally. If you're going to watch, if you're going to listen to me talk and blog and all these hours of content, and you haven't even supported me by spending $2.95 fucking cents to buy my movies, even if you don't like fucking porn, etc. If I drew a comic books or whatever and charged $3 for them, and you've watched thousands of hours of my content or whatever, the very minimum you could do is support me in that metric. I'm tired of talking shit and going in these back and forth ideology arguments with people that haven't spent three goddamn dollars in my store. Fuck you. Fuck that. You didn't buy my album? Piss off, okay? Really. <laughs> Shit. I hope you can learn something from the rest of this channel, but you know what I'm saying? My protein powder ain't free. You know, my lease in the office space ain't free. My land here ain't free. A condo ain't free. Nigga, I gotta keep the lights on in all these locations. And to think that you motherfuckers can't spend two dollars and ninety-five cents, it just saddens me. You know, niggas ain't shit. Fuck y'all. For real. <laughs> From the bottom of my black heart. Okay? Really? Jesus Christ. You know, I try to do my... Th you don't like my movies? Fuck it. Come purchase some rice bowls. Buy my ebooks. Give me a goddamn donation. I don't care. Just give me something back. Some niggas can't even give me a thumb up. 
You can't even give me a subscribe. There's all kind of ghost motherfuckers that watch this channel here. They'll watch some behind the scenes video with some hoes or whatever. They won't like it, whatever, but then like 55,000 people will play the goddamn video and ne'er one of them niggas are subscribed. Why? Oh, I got a wife. Oh, I got a... Man, your wife already know every fucking thing. You think you stupid. If you think, you, if you think the girl that sleeps in your bed don't know you like the backside of your hand, you're tripping. Nigga, for real. So, don't tell me you can't subscribe, even if you're in incognito mode, incognito mode, as I say, or whatever, man. You can make a fucking ghost account or whatever and subscribe to me or whatever, if you want. If you're already playing dirty balls like that, I mean, you're sleeping with the enemy anyway. You guys are just building cases on each other for a divorce day, I guess. So anyway, yeah, there's a lot of ghost people on the channel. I know you don't want to be associated with the dirty, filthy, so-called, whatever, pornographer, bad guy, quote, I mean, it's me. Okay, I'm Shimmy, I'm Shimmy Cash, it's who I am, and if my views or whatever don't agree with you or something like that, then maybe you shouldn't subscribe, but there's a lot of people that do agree with what I gotta say, etc., and whatever, and they can't, they're in some, like, concentration camp kind of situation, and the niggas can't leave me no comments, they can't thumbs it up, or, or they can't do anything because of... You know, the motherfucker might be watching this shit on their phone in the toilet or in the fucking basement or whatever just for a couple minutes a day with some headphones on and everything. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people have really weird living conditions and situations, especially when it comes to adult content and shit like that. So, not everybody's house is the same as mine, I know. And I also know it's not easy to live with other people and live under people and under people's authority and rule. I don't like that shit either. That's very awkward. I, I can't fuck with that. Yeah, so anyway, you guys have heard about the contest, the raffle, and whatever. Again, uh, learning to respect other people's time is important. Doing my best to reply to everybody's comments. That's something I wrote down also. Um... I'm t is, there's okay. There's only 350 of you people currently, you people on this YouTube channel. And thank you for all of you that still have watched me, whether you found my channel accidentally or stumbled upon it. It's, I'm always very curious how people find my channel. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, you know, this shit isn't promoted. It's just out there. So unless you're really looking at like who made this movie, etc., and who's the creator behind this, then that's probably how you found me. Unless you know me personally, actually. Yeah. Um. This is kind of crucially important to me. Um, I started doing this a couple of years ago, actually. I, I started looking, I started looking at um, the people, especially the people who made a lot of the cartoons that I watched when I was younger. Like uh, I watched a lot of GI Joe cartoons when I was younger, right? And I would, st I started like looking at like all the credits, you know, creators and the, the start of the titles or whatever. And there was a lady named Christy, like it would always say, I think it was her name, Christy Marks, I think. There, there's a lady, I had the Wikipedia, she's in the credit. Like I actually went and Googled and Wikipedia, like everybody in the credits of like who made my favorite shows, video games, and cartoons. Because I want to see about, you know, I want to learn about the people that made shit, okay? Like cartoons and video games and comic books, they don't make themselves. They're made by people like me. I'm basically like them. I'm, you know, you creative motherfuckers. So... There's one particular cartoon that I watched like probably thousands of times as a kid. I had to say like, who made this shit or whatever, right? So it turns out it's a lady in Australia. Um, her name was Christy Marks. She draws the comics and shit for G.I. Joe or storyboard or animated or whatever. And by learning more about her and studying her life, I, I had a greater understanding of how the characters in G.I. Joe were made. If you might have noticed, like this, this this particular cartoon I'm talking about, G.I. Joe cartoon, by the way, had several writers in di for different episodes. Um, the episodes with the character Zartan, my favorite character, by the way, in G.I. Joe, Zartan and the, the so-called Dreadnoughts, his minions, these three, his homies or whatever, um, they talk with an Australian Aussie accent. And now I realize it's because the lady who made the episode of the characters is also Australian or whatever. 
and uh, that probably had a lot to do with it. Well, where else would she get the ideas or concepts to create these characters, right? So I was like, this is very fascinating, right? Just whatever. And I eventually found the lady sells like animation original cells on eBay and you know, she does, most people that make comic books and cartoons and shit like that, they do a variety, variety of creative type of things or whatever. So I like to find this out. And when like, I like, I like to say, I like a movie or a comic or a video game or whatever. I want to find out all the, the whole world or realm of shit this person has created. You know what I'm saying? Because if you like one thing a person made, chances are you'll like some of the other shit they made too. Most of the time or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times only the top, I don't want to say top tier, but only, only their main projects or whatever will get published or notoriety or whatever, things of that nature or whatever. So I like looking for all these little crumbs and tidbits to find out how things came to be. It's just one of my passions and hobbies to actually reach out and seek out other creative people that create our media, projects, video games, movies, comic books, and shit like that. They're basically people like me. So if you're ever wondering who the creative driving force behind these websites, behind Indian Girls, Totico's, The Shimmy Show, and all these like other thousands of other just like random cheerleader movies and shit like that, you know, it's me. It's just a regular nigga like me, and I like to, I like to interact and fuck with other people that you know, whatever. So that's the purpose. That's the real purpose of this channel here. I want to interact with my fans. Mostly, I realize this is mostly a lot of fans, a lot of people asking all these goddamn questions or whatever, or people that want to get into the industry. Hey, Jimmy, how do I, how can I fuck chicks? Shit. I mean, it's like 90% of the fucking emails or whatever. So yeah, it's, uh, that's the purpose of the fucking channel here. Ultimately, to reach out to people and just to be reachable shit you know uh, there's so many so many times that i want to reach out to a publisher author this that and i realize like your chances often are kind of slim a lot of times to uh to hit people up or hit you back because generally unless it's about some money understand this people unless it's about some money most people don't want to fuck with you but for instance now since a lot of man 90 percent of you motherfuckers asked me this and this and this if you want if you want to you know how do i fuck chicks how could i meet this porn star girl xyz have you tried spending some money in her store have you looked up to see if she's got a some shit where maybe she makes her okay say your movie starlet or whatever she's popular in some movie she probably has a camera or a phone and makes her own shit just like me etc but if you go and spend some money in her store that's a way of paying homage to her and hitting her and blessing her with uh basically money or gifts or you're basically buying some of her time really you know what i'm saying that's really what you're doing uh think of it like this right a lot of a, a lot of uh, strippers can get their clients to pretty much they can talk for their money i guess right a lot of guys have a need to be heard and or understand understood i should say probably more important to be heard you know it's like a, a guy can run his mouth like a girl really wants to fucking hear it like i'm doing on this thing here you know i could i could, I could be spending this video is up to the 27 minute mark right now right I could be having a one-way conversation with a stripper on the other end of this, and she could have probably got like... I dropped the goddamn mic. I was just saying to myself, like, if I was having a one-way conversation with a girlfriend, etc., a stripper, this, that, and the other, shit, man, I probably would be like $300 in the hole just for a time. Or a therapist. Or a psychiatrist, etc. What, what the fuck do they cost, by the way? At least a hundred dollars an hour, probably more. I'm guessing buck fifty, two hundred. Who the fuck knows? Not the same as in like video game land or whatever. A thousand dollars a session, I hope. GTA. But I mean, it's like, uh, what you going to do? Uh, I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's a real human inherent human need. Probably more so for guys, I think, even to be heard or listened to or validated everybody wants to have their ideas really everybody wants their ideas to be agreed with you know what i'm saying i've i've read in some books that people say that every conversation that we have is an attempt to convince or sell people of our point of view on something i kind of sort of agree on that but i mean i i think realistically uh, it just makes people feel human to to be listened to you know 
I very often ask. Every time I get a phone call, somebody come visit me, person, this, that, and the other, I always ask them, how are they doing, etc. Can I do anything for you? What's what's the dealio? Uh, I'm just offering my ears and brain for use for a few minutes. It's not a... It's not that big of a deal for me usually to do this because I'm pretty good at multitasking and shit. But, but sometimes now, sometimes I get some real doozies during the day that can throw me off canter or off game. That's why I just mentioned earlier in my shit here, like, hey, if you could wait till like after 11 to like dump the whole fucking mother load on me about whatever happened, that'd be great. For little minor problems, you know, level low to medium, Alert level yellow, green, etc. That's okay. As far as the red and orange shit and whatever, that's going to have to wait till after 11 o'clock. Because basically, if you dump too much information or problems on me all at once, it's going to put the fucking brakes and paralyze a lot of other shit going on in the day, which is crucial. Crucial. Like the memory RAM. Crucial for me to. Okay, we're back on. For whatever reason, my memory card just stopped. It just said movie recording has stopped automatically. The goddamn camera wants me to stop talking, I guess. So anyway, as I was saying earlier, yeah, um, if I get sidetracked during the day, bad things can happen. Understand, this is a delicate balancing act. I'm running computers and shit in the other room. I over flooded the fucking floor here with water today. I get sidetracked. I got a fucking fried chicken machine cooking and shit and... A lot of shit on timers and clocks and tight schedules and this and that, which means if you call me, it can fuck up a lot of shit and cause a lot of problems if you miss do this at the wrong time. So don't take it personally if I have to rush you off the phone or rush you out the door or something like that. It's just like I'm running a delicate machine here that other people are dependent on. Okay, people need their internet shit. I have website customer service, orders, cancellations, updates, upload, download, motherfucking hackers and shit trying to take the page down, fucking people complaining, wanting to get the shit shut down for moral reasons or whatever. They don't disagree me, racist or something, don't like me. I don't know what their fucking problem is. I'm fighting all kinds of proxy wars and battles throughout the day that a lot of people don't even realize fucking exist. I have problems from worlds that people don't even know anything at all about. Shit niggas can't even fathom. You know, you have, I got invisible fucking enemies. You have that kind of problems too? Probably not if you live a simple, normal life where you just wake up and just got to do basic shit throughout the day. But I mean, I have a lot of shit I'm juggling, man. God damn, I got property taxes and shit in three different countries going on. Fuck, I got <laughs> motherfucking, this thing would never quit, phone would never quit lighting up and ringing if I didn't just turn it off most of the time. Okay? Please do understand, and I'm really, really sorry for this extended 30-minute fucking rant, but I don't, I'd rather you guys hear it hear from me voluntarily at your own leisure than for me to call up and bitch with people and be like, hey, yeah, you won't believe what happened. Motherfuckers are wasting my time, etc. Et I'm not going to do that to any of you people. That's what the purpose of my channel is. I really encourage all of you to get a channel for you to express yourself on. That's what this is, basically. I know my channel currently lacks focus. I'd like to do some fly shit. If it was up to me, I'd just be working out, doing cardio. I'd like to have like a channel devoted just to me running, actually. I want to get a fucking drone, a follow me drone that just follows me around while I go running and fly places and shit like that. You know, those kind of things cost money. This particular drone I want to get over a thousand dollars. I'm not gonna get a shitty one that makes shaky video and is like unusable. So you know I need some good shit. So lots of shit I want to buy costs money. In order to get money, I have to sell movies. I have to sell fried chicken and poke bowls and do lots of shit to get a lot of the equipment and whatever that it takes to move do shit like this. You know, understand what I'm saying? I got I gotta keep my shit moving so I don't lose shit. So I could acquire new shit, et cetera, et cetera, and do more adventures. And I can't do that if I always got my ear and mouth glued to a goddamn phone. So it's just how it is. So I encourage you people to make a channel where you can express yourself. That's all. And that's all I have to say. I, I hope that you guys have gotten a lot out of what I've said. 
Um, I do apologize for ranting this extendedly, but you were warned in the beginning this was going to be a long fucking show and I wanted to really express and get this out. And I, I don't feel like I could really get my points across without giving some examples to people about how and why and how important this shit is to me. I wouldn't talk about this for a half an hour if it wasn't important to me. But the thing is, I'd rather talk about it half an hour once then have to explain this shit to 300 motherfuckers individually, okay? This, this applies to you motherfuckers that don't speak English too, by the way. Yes. Yo, um, my Spanish is a little rusty. Uh, tu entiendo, yo entiendo, tu, tu hace problemas. Mucho problemas, papi. I understand, okay? Yo, what is understand? I Fuck my Spanish is rusty. <laughs> Yo entiendo tu, todo, el, todo el mundo tiene problemas. The whole world has problems. Pero, but, uh, tus problemas no son, no son especial. Your problems are not more special than the next person, basically, is all that I'm saying. And the whole world got problems, so just chill the fuck out. Tranquilo, as they say in Spanish, okay? I'm learning my Thai, but just chill the fuck out. Sabadi crap. Sabai di mai. Give me some noodles. Shit. Massage, massage. <laughs> That's, yeah, man. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Jesus Cristo. <laughs> so that's all that I'm saying, people, man. Um, Overall, you know, I do consider myself to be a good guy, a good person. I try to do what I can for the fucking world. I, I try not to refuse people. I try my best to not reject people. I try my best to help people. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like my heart's in the right place. But my time is kind of limited, man. I do want to have fucking fun. I need to make time to have fun. Shit. But at the end of the day, as long as I have time to go running in the morning and take care of my body, etc., and which really takes like damn near half the fucking day then i'm good I'm, I'm i'm a much better person for fucking with the world once i take care of myself for real so that's how i make all this shit happen actually you know if i didn't have a good grip and a good control on my time and i get up early in the morning i gotta start my day early to just get ready for all this shit or whatever but once I've handled my own stuff, you know, I feel actually pretty good. I, I actually like helping people. I like listening to people. I like reading your comments. And I like, I like talking to people and fucking with people. I want to do more of this shit. I'm a people lover. I love humans. All you monkeys. I do. You know, it's cool. Yes, I'm a very social person. You know, I don't, I don't like devices and screens and all this fucking digital shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to be in the person. Whatever. So, in the flesh. So... That's what I got to say, man. Yep. Thank you for watching the Shemmy Show. This is Shemmy Cash, a.k.a. Shemelise McBeb. Again, uh, do it, do it, help do what, do what you fucking can to help me get to a thousand subscribers. And again, the contest is very real. It's very valid, legally binding. I hold my word to people or whatever. And whoever wins this shit, I'll announce it or whatever. No secrets on this fucking channel either. No anonymous user. I'm not sending you some, some anonymous motherfucker to passcode or some shit to my condo. You got to at least, if I'm putting myself out there, if I'm making this show, if I'm talking, if I'm butt-ass naked on the internet or whatever, at the very minimum, if you're a winner, I'm going to announce who you are or something like that. So, yeah, whether you get first prize, second prize, or third prize, I'm just letting people know this shit is real. Okay, shimmy is just real. It ain't a fucking joke. And the contest is real. So go ahead and uh, subscribe. All right, you can win again. A week in the condo in Thailand. 10 minutes of my time. Skype, call, whatever the fuck, whatever you want to do. And third prize is uh, website membership to the movies for you cheap bastards that don't want to pay me $2.95. And another, that'll be a topic of another show later, actually. That shit pisses me off, man. Fuck. Anyway. Thank you for watching the Shimmy Show on my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a chill on this for now. And that is actually, like I said on the book here, uh, learning how to respect people's time. That's my. This is how you can respect my time. I'm doing my best to respect all you guys' time. And uh, I hope that you can learn something from this and get something out of it. I hope that your life is more productive for putting my thoughts or whatever into practice. This isn't just me running my mouth and all that shit, for real. This is, this is a very important life lesson. You can get far in life if you respect people's time. Put yourself in their shoes and uh, 
You know what I'm saying? Just don't be a, we're, we're all slowly dying, so don't burn up people's time is my my point. Time is very valuable and precious, you know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time spending it arguing with people. When you finally do get to see people in person, don't be a dick. Don't be argumentative. Don't be confrontational. Don't be just like, hey, what the fuck's going on? That kind of shit. Spend your time wisely. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be devoid of conflict. There's enough fucking conflict in life as is. Why you want to bring more on it? Some people just live to fight and argue and bitch. And I have no idea why. That shit ages you prematurely. It makes your quality of life go downhill. So it better just to be more positive and do positive shit and good shit and be happy. You'll be happier and your body and your mind and your friends and all that shit will thank you for it. For real. So respect people's time, starting with mine. Please and thank you so much, all right? I'm Shemmy Cash. Thank you for watching, and uh, this has been The Shemmy Show. More great shit on the way. I hope you guys learned something from me. And that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ciao.